Hello and welcome to the 2013 Diesel Power Challenge brought to you by XDP. We're here at ATS Diesel Performance just outside of Denver, Colorado, where we've invited 10 of the nation's toughest diesel trucks to compete over the course of three days and seven events that will test everything from their brute strength to their fuel economy. drag race the trucks. We'll drag race them with a trailer behind them. We'll make them go through a trailer obstacle course. We'll send them on a fuel economy run into the Rocky Mountains. And finally, we'll hook them to the most nefarious bow in all of motorsports, the weighted pulling sled, as we will measure these trucks pure brute strength on a pulling course of 300 feet. And today, we have them on the load cell dyno here at ATF. So we have behind us here a 2008 Ford F-250 with a 6.4 liter power stroke in it. My name's Wesley Beach. I'm from Akron, Ohio, and I have a uh, 2008 Ford F-250 Super Duty. It's got a custom compound turbo setup that uses the factory high-pressure VGT turbo and a custom 80 millimeter billet atmosphere turbo. He estimates the truck should make about 865 horsepower and 1,600 foot-pounds of torque which the Mustang Dyno here at ATS Diesel Performance will bear out in just a couple of minutes. They're strapping the truck down now. He'll make three pulls, three power pulls today as we get going on our dyno competition. Dyno pole here, 856, just over 1,700 foot-pounds. How does that stack up to where you wanted to be? Uh, it's not good. It's not what we thought it was going to make. Uh, did a lot better on the dyno on Sunday. So. Well, we heard a big bang at the end of the pole, but it just it looks like it just blew one of the boots yeah, off the yeah, intercooler. It, yeah, it blew one of the intercooler pipes off. Tighten the clamp, you'll be back in business. That's no sweat. Well, hey, you threw it, and the motor stayed together, so you're on to tomorrow's action anyway. Yes, sir, we are. The truck that's pulling onto the dyno now is Tony Resai, and he's literally the local favorite. He only lives 54 miles from here, and this is the only dually truck we have in the competition. Hi, I'm Tony Rezai from Johnstown, Colorado. I'm driving a 2004 Crew Cab Dually Duramax. Um, I fabricated the compound twin turbo kit on it. We have built everything on the truck. I painted the truck. I drive it every day. The truck's got 355,000 miles on it. Because Shiloh Ellingford dropped out of the competition before we started, there were only two Duramax powered GMC machines here. There are four Power Stroke Fords and three Cummins powered Dodges. So the Chevy and GM guys are outnumbered. Tony Resize Dually Truck is a very healthy machine with the compound turbochargers, nitrous injection, as well as the water and methanol injection. Hopefully, he'll be able to stick around till the end to defend the GM honor. If not, these guys might be like at the Alamo. They're outnumbered and outgunned. Tony Reeside has hopped out of the truck. The first two probably weren't what you were looking for, but she certainly woke up and sung for you in the last one. Yeah, we're good. What uh, what changes between the three poles? What what you figure out? Just loading it different. This dyno loads a lot harder than any other dyno, so you got to be on top of it. Well, the, both the compound turbos are working good, and Tony Reeside has jumped right to the top of the board here on day one of the dyno competition. The 2007 Dodge Ram you see behind me is owned by Paul Cato, who came all the way out from Illinois to compete. It's obviously a Cummins six-cylinder engine. It has a single Borg Warner S475 that's an 88 millimeter turbo on it. Also a couple of nitrous bottles tucked in the bed of the truck as well. So this thing should make big power. Paul estimates it could make over 2,000 foot-pounds, which if it does would put him way in the lead of all the torque guys so far today. My name is Paul Cato. I've got a 2007 Dodge Ram 2500 with a 67 Cummins, and I'm from Carterville, Illinois. My strategy for the competition is uh, come in, keep the truck together, um, try to win, but I'd like to just keep the truck together the whole time just to say that I did. Dodge Ram 
Dodge Ram. And uh, the, after the pole was over, the thing was leaking like a sieve. So as you can see, they got a bunch of guys climbing all over the motor right now. They don't know if they might have pushed a freeze plug out the side of the block. They're trying to figure out where the coolant was coming from. There was a jet of it that was actually shooting out towards the driver's side. That would uh, indicate that maybe a, a freeze plug came out of the side of the block and it was blowing the coolant out, which means the motor is going to have to come out of this big Dodge so we can replace the freeze plug and carry on. I think it's going to be a very late night from the crew from Illinois tonight. And I think the guys at ATS Diesel are going to keep the lights on for them. So the big white Dodge behind us belongs to Kentuckian Banyan Woosley. This truck has a pair of compound turbos, two stages of nitrous oxide as well. My name is Banyan Woosley from Boston, Kentucky. I drive a 2005 Dodge 2500. We've of course upgraded the turbos, injectors, added cam, blocks completely built, fly cut pistons, Head's been modified pretty good bit. The ultimate equalizer, we threw nitrous on there. I'm hoping I can at least get a trophy. That's my hope, so there's three chances I got. Banyan gonna try to uh, fare a little bit better than his fellow Cummins compatriot, Paul Cato did, and see if he can keep all the fluid inside the motor on this pole. up here with uh, Banyan Woolsey who just jumped way up to the top of the leaderboard. Well, if a little's good, a lot must be better because now you're over 2,000 <laughs> foot bounce. Well, I had to set the bar a little bit more. And I learned that you not, have not shaved since you figured out that you were going to be <laughs> in this competition. So I would suggest not bringing out the razor yet either because you're in the hunt right now. I haven't shaved it since I put in the form to nominate myself. So the entry form. Well, I know you guys also were thrashing to get this motor together like last weekend, and this is the first time you've ever put the hammer to it. And it looks it looks and sounds pretty mean. It's a really good motor. It's well built, and we we busted ass. That's all I can say. And it's turned out everything we hoped it was. Well, there you go. Banyan Woolsey jumps to the top of the leaderboard here on day one, and is still trying to look like a coal mine inside the dyno cell. So no, you're not seeing double. This is a different 2004 white Dodge Ram. This one belongs to Chris Hillison. This truck is similar to the one we just saw in the fact that it is a, a compound turbocharged setup with nitrous oxide. Will we see comparable numbers? I'm not 100% sure. Chris Hillison, driving 2004 Dodge Ram 2500 and from Casper, Wyoming. I think I have a really good shot of placing at least as long as my motor stays together. It's a little hurt right now, having a little issue with it, so. It's uh, still making good power. Well, Chris, I understand that the motor is not even healthy as it stands, it but you still threw up some pretty impressive numbers for working on five cylinders, basically. Yep. I mean, it's it's hurt definitely to run into some issues, but it's definitely got left, you know, lots of motor left. Yeah, I think you, even with the hurt cylinder, you still have enough motor to be a contender here. And the numbers you threw up on, on your three pulls put you, ranking-wise, I believe, the second right now. Yeah, and that was, you know, pretty minimal on nitrous. That was mostly fuel, mostly motor, so we got lots of room to go. Well, for a guy with a hurt animal, well, actually, it's not that hurt an animal. It's just limping a little bit. It ain't, it ain't that bad. So, Chris Hillison, thanks for uh, putting up some good numbers for us, and we'll see you tomorrow at the drag strip. All righty, we'll see you there. You know, one of the things that's so great about the Diesel Power Challenge is we get competitors from all over the country that show up because they love diesel trucks and they love making big horsepower. Well, it took about three hours for us to see just how tight-knit a group of people can become when Paul Cato experienced a problem on the dyno. Truck blew a freeze plug out, and within 15 minutes, there was a group of five or six people, most of which Paul Cato had never met before from all over the country wrenching on this thing. In a matter of less than an hour and a half, they're gonna have the truck bolted back together and Paul will be able to complete his dyno session at the end of the day just because of help he got from guys that a couple hours ago he had never met before. So the F-250 behind me, the menacing black looking F-250 with the blacked out windows is owned by David Hefner. This truck is powered by a 7.3 liter old school power stroke. It's the only 7.3 liter truck we have in the competition. David Hefner, I'm from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Um, driving a 1999 F-250, 7.3 power stroke. 
So David Hefner's truck is the oldest truck with the oldest motor in the competition. It's a 1999 Ford with an old school 7.3 liter power stroke in it. It's a single 76 millimeter turbo and a couple stages of nitrous oxide on this truck. Despite the fact that it's got long in the tooth design, it has plenty of the right pieces to make enough power. Hefner believes it can make 1,000 horsepower and it can make 1,750 foot-pounds of torque. If it can do both of those things, it will put itself solidly in the top three of the trucks that we've had on the dyno today. So David Hafer just made his third dyno pull in the 7.3 liter Power Stroke truck. A little over 640 horsepower, over 1,350 foot-pounds of torque. We're gonna find out from David if that's what he thought he was expecting or if he was looking for a little bit more. The guys did go into the truck between the second and third pulls and they upped, they put a bigger nitrous jet in it, but only picked up four horsepower and not all that much torque. So David, just uh, what, for 640 horse, just over 1,300 foot-pounds of torque. I know you guys are considering see if you can get another pull out of it. What's what's going on? Uh, just the altitude, I guess. Yeah, you guys are from Virginia, so sea level's about where you used to run and not up here a mile in the sky, I guess. Yep, yeah. Well, there we go. Dave's done for uh, today, and he'll be back tomorrow with the drag strip with the 7.3 liter Power Stroke F250. So the truck you see behind me on the rollers right now, this is Texan Willie Lewis. This is a uh, Duramax powered truck, obviously a pair of twin turbos. It has nitrous injection as well. My name is Willie Lewis. I'm from Crescent, Texas. I drive a 2008 Chevy Silverado 6.6 Duramax. I got a full built uh, top to bottom Duramax, twin CP3s, uh, pretty large injectors. Got a full built Suncoast transmission, all billet components. I brought a lot of parts, so uh, my strategy is to uh, Go as hard as I can and till I'm out of parts or the competition's over. came in 814 and 1423 foot pounds. You made a pretty good jump between your first and second pulls there. What'd you guys tweak on? Spray. Oh, okay. <laughs> the little the little blue button was and used. I, and I kind of I kind of brake boosted a little bit when I when I went into the load. I had more on my chargers, you know, than the first pull. I was I was under my chargers on the first pull for sure. So it really helped just to you know kind of go into the load with with some something on your chargers other than just going in deadhead. So. You're about in the ballpark where you wanted to be as far as coming off of the dyno portion of the event? It made a lot more than I thought it would. Most excellent. You're happy and you live to fight another day. And We will see you uh, up on the hill at Bandemir tomorrow on the drag strip. The 2011 F-250 you see behind me is owned by Missourian Matt Doyle. It is the newest truck with the newest architecture engine in the competition. It has a 6.7 liter Scorpion diesel, but the Scorpion Power Stroke diesel that Ford now puts in their trucks. My name is Matt Doyle, I'm from Iberia, Missouri, and I drive a 2011 6.7 Power Stroke. It's got a 63 and an 80 millimeter atmospheric turbo with a full built ATS transmission. Matt came into the competition thinking the truck should make somewhere about 650 horsepower at the wheels and about 1400 or 1500 foot pounds of torque at the tire. The torque number would be impressive, the horsepower number would be comparatively low to the rest of the competitors we've seen will be interesting. So this is a kind of a mildly modified version of a modern truck as opposed to some of the older trucks we've seen that have been worked to the hill. truck here, 740 horse at the wheels, over 1,400 foot-pounds. Uh, you happy with that coming out of this session? Yeah, that's pretty good. We had a little issue uh, once getting it set up right, but uh, our last pull was pretty good, and I'm satisfied with that. Newest truck in the group and the only Scorpion motor truck we have here. What do you think of this thing so far? How many miles are on it? Uh, on the new build, it has about 1,000 miles on it, and uh, at lower elevations, uh, it spools really, really well. But up here, this is a whole different game. So the massive 2008 F-250 of Eric Claussen now coming into the dyno cell. 
This is the truck that won the event last year. I'm Eric Clausen. I'm from Cantua Creek, California, driving a 2008 Ford F-250, returning champ. <laughs> from last year, I changed uh, the turbo setup. We went from two turbos to three turbos, put a bigger cam in, did a lot of um, reliability modifications to the engine, cryoing the block, uh, rods, pistons. That's about most of the performance mods. Last year, Eric got the call on Sunday night to show up for the event on Monday, and he made it. This year, he's had a lot more time to prepare. The truck now has a triple turbocharger setup on it. It is a compound setup using three turbos. The truck is lifted eight inches. It sits higher than anything else we have here. And on paper, it makes more power than anything else with the setup he has in it. So everyone is waiting anxiously, probably no one more anxious than Eric to actually get this thing on and see what kind of power it can make. But the, uh, the triple compound setup with nitrous should be good for some humongous numbers. Saw first pull, and then the old lady was really singing on the second one yeah, there. I think the first pull we didn't get the um, big charger lit fully, but the second one, yeah, you could tell when it got lit, it, it took off. Yeah, it, it jumped right up on the tire. I mean, look, it was trying to rip itself right out yeah, of the floor. It was really nice to grow when it gets on boost. <laughs> well, we had talked a little bit this morning. You said, you know what, a good strategy is to maintain a position in the top five and everything, and you made a solid pull. You're pulling it off the rollers and moving into tomorrow yeah. in a good position. As soon as they said we had 1086, we're like, we're done. I knew that's, that's close enough. We're right, right in second or third. I mean, that's one more run. We probably could have got a little bit more out of it, but it's not really worth it to me. So, yeah, we're good. Cool. So, Eric Clausen moves into tomorrow as we head to the drag strip in second place, uh, chasing Banyan Wolseley from Kentucky. So, it is a power stroke and Cummins battle right now as we go into day number two. So, Eric Clausen was slated to be the last truck on the dyno today, but Paul Cato and his buddies had thrashed all day. They got the freeze plug fixed, so we're going to let him make two more pulls at the dyno. Right now, Cato is at the bottom of the ladder as far as the horsepower and torque numbers. He had to cut his first pull short because of the problem he had. He says the truck has a lot more in it. I don't know how much that is, but we're going to find out here. Pretty good testament of how hard and how dedicated these guys work at the Diesel Power Challenge. They could have thrown in the towel this morning, left with what they had, and just given up for the day. Instead, put the truck together. They're going to beat the snot out of it again this afternoon. Paul, you came back with the flurry this afternoon. You picked up like 300 horse and five or 600 foot pounds with the uh, replaced freeze plug. But between your second and third poles, you went for more nitrous. How much more nitrous did you go for? Uh, I thought I had a 78 jet, and it turns out I only had a 62 on the on the second pass. So we bumped up to uh, 290 jets. Um, I think we could have ran more, but we only had two pulls, so I didn't want to go too big. I wanted it to stay together. Um, I'm happy with the numbers. I came in in altitude. I'm from I'm from sea level, so <laughs> woo, let's do it. Well, Paul Cato was the hardest working man in show business today, and he's leaving with a smile on his face. So here we are at the end of the first day of competition at the 2013 Diesel Power Challenge. Bain and Woosley comes out as the big dog on the dyno today. It was a six-cylinder Cummins that led all comers. You put the uh, Power Stroke guys and the Duramax guys to shame today. We come with a plan to go big, and it seemed to work out. Everything held together. A lot of big heavy-duty pieces inside this motor, and they work to have this guy provide more than 2,000 foot-pounds of torque to the tires and spin the rollers today. Tomorrow, he's going to have to put all that power to work on the drag strip at Bandemir Speedway, where we'll be pulling a 10,000-pound trailer through the eighth mile and then using that same trailer in a trailer-towing obstacle course that will test not only the truck's power but also the capability of the driver. And if beard length is any indication of driver capability, this man is in very good shape. All right, we're coming out of the day one here at the Diesel Power Challenge, our dyno competition, and the big dog today was Bain and Woosley. I don't know what to do with my hands. Well, just put them down at your side. <laughs> we're not praying yet. You're leading the pack coming out of today. Big numbers out of the Cummins Dodge. Well, the truck ran really good today. We done a lot of work to the truck today. It ran really good. Uh, done exactly what we wanted to. Exactly what we wanted to. 